want to do a quick video why I think it's best for Keith Thurman not to get stripped of his Super WBA Championship belt. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic and more. And uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon button so you know when we upload and go live. I always have good live videos, so I definitely appreciate um, each and every one of my subscribers, man. I interact and, and um, you know, comment and rebuttal and everything as much as I can, but um, I told you guys the video was coming last night when I did the uh, stream. I believe that Keith Thurman is safe. is the best safe haven for the WBA Super Belt because if they strip him, you know, they, they possibly can turn Pacquiao and Matisse into a Super WBA title fight. Now, that fight is in jeopardy because Bob Arum is saying on on record with the Everlast, uh, you know, podcast that the, the financials haven't, financial, financial backers haven't showed the money for the fight. And thus for the fight might not go on. It's not going to be on pay-per-view. They missed that deadline as well, too. So it's a chance that Matisse can fight Terrence Crawford in October. And if that's the case, Matisse, I don't think you can unify with the regular WA belt. So the regular WA belt will be vacant. And the super belt, if they strip Keith Thurman, will be vacant. So that the belt will become one belt for the next champion. And the next two fighters that can fight for it is Jesse Vargas and Jamal James, according to the Reagans. But we know these sanctioning bodies are funny. You know, that will be a good that will be the perfect scenario for Vargas and Jamal uh you know J Jamal James, I think his name is Jamal James, to uh fight for that belt. But uh um yeah, that's his name, Jamal James to fight for that belt. But um Vargas is fighting Adrian Broner next, possibly. And, and if he's getting ready for Broner and they uh strip Thurman and Matisse and Pacquiao don't happen, um, then you know you will have a top rank versus a ES uh Versus uh, uh, Jamal James and that e the, e the EGIS the Ingus guy that uh, beat David Navarrezian last time time out on ESPN. You know you'd have a purse bid and Jamal James would try to fight that guy. It'd be a big mess. You know, and if the and if WBA belt goes to top rank hands, it could be a good thing because you know the Ingus guy could be delivered to Terence Crawford, so they have two belts and then Earl Spencer have possibly two belts with the WBC with Sean and Danny Garcia and then that. But I just think it's best right now for Thurman to hold on to that belt. Because if Pacquiao and Matisse do happen, then the winner becomes a Super WBA Championship. It's just, you know, it's doing a monkey wrench. At the end of the day, Keith Thurman holding the Super WBA Championship belt is the safest place because it, ultimately he's going to have to go see somebody. You know, ultimately he's going to want to come back and get his WBC. Ultimately he's going to want to come back and fight Earl Spence and make that money. But if it is vacant, um, worst case scenario, it falls into the top ranked hands with the Ingus guy or Pacquiao. Or, if, you know, not really worst case scenario, it might fall into Matisse's hands. It's not the worst. Golden Boy showed the ability to make fights with the money right. I'm pretty sure if we out cash out for Earl Smith to fight Matisse. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not none of those matchups are as scintillating potentially with Earl Smith or Danny Shine as Keith Thurman. So I'd rather Keith Thurman hold on to the belt. And he actually earned that belt the hard way. He was a regular WA champion. I think he won it by beating Diego Chavez. And then he made his title defense and Floyd gave up. He was elevated to super champ. So he definitely earned that blood, sweat, and tears. So I like to see Keith Thurman hold that belt. Other than it go vacant, and then you don't know who gonna get it, and then you know, then we got a big mix up. At least we know that Keith Thurman and Earl Spence, if he comes back, gonna be in unification bout. And I know people are not holding out hope on Keith Thurman. And they probably hope that Vargas and Jamal James possibly can get that belt. That could be a possibility, or you know, Jamal James and the Incas guy can get it. But at the end of the day, there's no better unification bout right now than Earl Spence and Keith Thurman at the welterweight division besides Terrence Crawford. And, um, you know, hopefully September 8th he comes back. He build himself back up, fight again sometime in the near future, and then he can ready for uh, uh, Spence at the end of the year. And Spence can already hog down Danny and Shine while he really building Satan himself. So rather than, just, rather than the unknown and, and the fuckery of sanctioning belt bodies, rather just uh, Thurman hold on to it and, and just, you know, eventually get healthy, you know, because at the end of the day, that belt can go so many different ways. And then it's just one more roadblock to get, uh, you know, to get a, a undisputed um, champion at the welterweight division. Just my opinion. Uh, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Username and Instagram in the description. Links to Facebook and Twitter is in the description as well. I definitely appreciate it, man. PayPal link is there as well. If you want to donate, I appreciate everybody. And sharing the videos is very, very important. And I appreciate all the donations that I do get and all the shares that you guys do. You're doing a wonderful job sharing it and blowing up the community, blowing it up in the, in the boss community and on social media. And uh, I definitely appreciate it, man. And definitely sending all blessings out to you and yours. It's TBC and more. One time for the one time. Y'all know what it is. We gone.